I want to welcome Julian Castro. He is the mayor of our great town. He is, uh, of course, he's a guy who we've had on the program many, many times. And now he's going to be giving the keynote speech at the Democratic National Convention coming up. My friend, how are you, Julian? Doing great. Great to be with you, Peg. So, yeah, but that's that's amazing news. Now, I'm not going to argue politics with you today. You and I don't see eye to eye on some stuff. But this is a pretty great honor for San Antonio and certainly for you. Just tell me, when did you find out and what was the thought process when you found out? Uh, well, I found out late last week. I think it was on Thursday afternoon. Uh, the campaign manager called and, and uh, asked if I would uh, give the keynote speech. And, of course, I said yes right away. Yeah, uh, I was very honored to do that, uh, and so um, you know, there's there's equal parts enthusiasm and excitement, and also, of course, a little bit of nerves, uh, since it's such a watched uh, speech. Uh, and so, the whole deal between last week and today was making sure that it didn't leak, because of course, you know, there's a, a proper way that the campaign wanted to roll everything out. Right. It's, uh, it's Mayor Julian Castro. I mean, it's got it's, it's just got to be dumbfounding. You're 37 years old. You're, you're a young guy who has made a lot of noise politically. You're up in Washington uh, often to talk to the president about uh, about urban stuff, about Hispanic stuff, about uh, building businesses and communities. Um, it, was it completely out of left field, or did you have an inclination that it might happen? I was surprised by it. You know, I had heard snippets of conversation about who might be considered, not from the campaign, but right. just you know, political talk. But uh, I didn't actually think that it was going to happen, so it was very surprising. And I would say, Joe, I know obviously a lot of the folks that are listening uh, certainly don't don't agree with uh, with the way that I see things in terms of policy or politics. Um, but I agree that it very much is a reflection on San Antonio, also. Uh, I know that I wouldn't be in this position if so many folks in their own lives in the city hadn't been so hardworking and successful. You know, it's the fact that we get ranked by the Milken Institute as right. a top-performing local economy, that San Antonio is growing so much, that that people all over the community make positive news. You know, that's a great part of the equation, too. And so I am proud, and I think all of us can be proud, that Aside from the politics, that San Antonio will will be in the spotlight as well. Well, it's an interesting. It brings up an interesting question, Mayor, and it's Mayor Julian Castro, of course, now been uh, tapped to give the, nat- the the keynote speech at the Democratic National Convention. Will it be a political speech? Will it be about the people of San Antonio? Will it be about you and how you got to the position that you're in? What's the thought process early on? Well, I think it'll be uh, a little bit of all of those things. Um, I don't imagine that it's going to be a full-on policy speech. As you know, it, probably, it most likely will um, will reflect my story, right? You know, which I feel is an American dream story. Like there's so many American dream stories out there, and how that relates to the choice that we need to make in this election, as I see it. Uh, I say that, and you know, I haven't even put any pen to paper yet. Right. And so after all the frenzy dies down in the next couple of days, uh, you know, I'm actually going to put pen to paper and start an outline, and then, of course, work with uh, the campaign speech writer that they assign. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that collaboration. Historically, what happens is when, when the Democrat – um, holds the convention and has a dynamic speaker like you, uh, not unlike Barack Obama back in 2004, that Democrat should lose the election, which I'd be fine with, and then in, in, now we can start chanting Castro 2016. You're now in line to be the president. You realize that, right? Not at all, not at all. I, first, <laughs> I hope the exact opposite happens. I want President I know. Obama to be reelected. I know. We're not going to go uh, there because we're getting along right now. But... Uh, I'm going to be here in San Antonio as long as the voters will have me. And under term limits, you know, I have an election in 2013, and then uh, if reelected, I would have one in 2015. And uh, I will be here until the end if the voters will have me. All right, uh, it's uh, Mayor Julian Castro, the great city of San Antonio. He is going to be giving the the, the Democratic National Convention keynote speech in Charlotte coming up. Uh, tell me what your mom said. Tell me what your wife said. Tell me what your family said. Uh, well, obviously very happy. My mom is very proud, um, you know, uh, to think that she's getting to see one of her sons, my brother, likely get elected to Congress in November and then the other son be the mayor and, and make this speech. Uh, it, it's what she worked for, you know, it's what she dreamed about. And for generations in the past, 
Uh, it's, it's what they wanted, what anybody would want. So she's very proud. Uh, my wife, I think, is like me, equal parts excited and then also, uh, you know, it's a little bit nerve wracking. But Erica's always been great. Well, very you're, very, you're very, very smooth. You, you give a very good speech, and that's not a.